three years ago, my sister started dating convicted felons. I do date bad boys. Currently, I'm dating seven convicted felons. These prisoners are violent. I know all of their crimes. Heroin distribution, cocaine distribution, kidnapping. One of them chopped someone's fingers off with a machete and attempted murder. It doesn't bother me that they're violent offenders. My sister meets these guys on websites that connect prisoners to women. I like the Southern Hispanic tatted up bald-headed gang members. I like their looks, their personalities, and the rules that they follow. I've sent money to every man that I'm dating that's in prison. It's once or twice per week per person. It's kind of a different schedule with each one depending on if they're federal or state custody. I've probably sent a total of close to $50,000 in nine years. She slowly is going into debt. They'll have food before she can pay her light bill. Alex sends the prisoners money to buy food, tablets, shoes, cologne, watches, clothes. I'm at the mall, what are you doing? Demands on my time and resources are extreme. The past couple days I've gotten one of them shoes and cologne and I am running errands for another one. There's three men that I do actually love. The ones that I tell that I love, they don't know that I talk to other men. Oh, they will find out, yes. The Dr. Phil show is very popular in prison. The guy I'm talking to in Ohio is calling right now. Hello? I take four to five phone calls per day from prisoners. I send and receive about 25 to 50 emails per day. Once I've established a relationship with them, I do feel obligated to continue it. So I drove from Arizona to California to see one of the men that just got out of prison. That's the definition of ride or die, and I'm definitely ride or die for that one. I don't ever date in the real world. I have not been on a date in seven to eight years. I don't know how to talk to men or have normal relationships. I'm very worried that they could hurt my sister, get her on drugs, kill her, or even take all of her money and she's homeless on the streets. Well, Jenna, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm all right. Um, your sister, Alex, is supposed to be sitting right there. Yeah. Uh, but she's not, why not? She's a little nervous. Nervous, well, I understand that. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> um, and she has some questions, so I don't know, maybe she'll come out, maybe she won't. Are, are you concerned that she is engaging with, interacting with these known criminals, that bothers you? Yes. I've, I've kind of done uh, a little bit of, uh, of, of background on them, and she has seven that she's interacting with. One, Jay, uh, he's out, mm -hmm. right? And he was in for counterfeiting, drug transport, and kidnapping. Edgar is in for attempted murder. Faustino, two carjackings. Carlos, uh, felony uh, with a gun and theft. Uh, Oscar, transporting coke. Mike, cut somebody's finger off with a machete. Eric, heroin, theft, receiving stolen property. Now, you say that she gives these men how much money a month? Um, oh, probably maybe, maybe 100 to 200 a month. Each? Yes. Maybe less than that, but... Okay, but five, six hundred dollars a month she's shipping off to these guys. Yes. And can she afford that? I don't meddle in too much in her bills, but I don't, I think she might choose their well-being over her well-being.